Welcome to Gili Chowangan, better known as the party island of Gili Tea. Hi, I'm Stu Bapaka from England and I have been on the island of Gili Tea for a couple of hours and it was a two hour journey by speedboat to get here and I've had a little walk around and I thought I'd take you around with me and show you around. If you've been following me you know that everywhere I stay is all budget, it's all cheap hostels and this is the cheap end of Gilly Tea. The last I'm staying it is not too bad and I'll show you later on where it is but as you go further down there it's towards the beach and the sea area and then further that way towards the right it gets a little bit better a little bit more expensive and better hotels but on this island there is no four-wheel vehicles it's all mopeds bicycles and horses the plan at the moment is to stay here for two three nights depending how I feel because this is a party island I have full intentions of partying so you can tell it's starting to get touristy because their shops where we were before was the the living area for all the locals now because of the place we are in there's a lot of music that'll be playing so if you find the sound going down it's because it's music that i'm not allowed to play so this is the front and you can see all the tourists stuff they're all getting knocked over by bikes and that's a little taxi rank it goes on and on and on lots of horses I'm going to try and get down the front oh, mister. let me show you the beach down here so that's the harbour where I landed this morning, sorry, this afternoon. Right, I'm going to step back and try and keep out the wind. So this is a good area for going out snorkelling. The next island over there is Gilly air and that is more of a lesser party place and there's no way you could swim across because I've been told that the current in between is so strong that you're drowned but you can go further out do a bit of snorkeling and see some wildlife right hopefully the wind won't get too much of the um, my voice but there was a lot of boats but I might have to go back onto the path because <coughs> can I climb this? of course I can but not that one Another reason people come here is to do scuba diving and be taught how to do scuba diving. But at the moment it's ten past four. So there's people still out and about. 
He's probably still sleeping, waking up after a heavy night last night. And as I go further on down to the bar areas, it's getting harder and harder to find somewhere with no music. Told you, party place. And what I'll probably do is tomorrow night go out and show you what it's like on a night time. Because I have been here before. It was eight years ago and it was crazy then. But I'm not to believe it's even worse now. So Billy T is a massive backpacking area and there is so many hostels that are on this island. I would say a lot of them are party hostels where they try and encourage you to drink more alcohol by the hour. I'm in a more sophisticated one where they force feeding you cocktails. This island itself has all the touristy stuff on the front so just behind um, all these shops and the hotels down here that's where you get all the people living I am quite impressed with these taxis But you can tell that we're, we're getting into the um, more expensive area. Restaurant with a pool. More importantly, you've got a decent path. <laughs> Why is he wearing a coat? It's so hot. So the distance I've walked from the, the hostel, these are the three ATMs on the island. So it's a 10 minute walk to get money so you want cash, get plenty before you run out. It's a bit of a better beach. Yeah, this is a better class of shops. Oh, look at that. It's a nice hotel. If only I had the budget. So I am getting my islands mixed up. So I'm back on the beach and over there is Lombok and that is the biggest island around here that over there is Gili Mino and behind that is Gili Air now I'll just show you on the map here of what they all look like and how big Lombok is now Gili Mino is one of the smaller ones I think but it's not that touristy. Gilly Air is touristy, but it's for, I would say, married couples or people who want to chill and relax. And 
that's not me. But Lombok is the island that I'll be going to in about four or five days time. But I've still got all this lot to enjoy. As you can see, there is less stuff around. There's no shops, hotels, bars. It's a nice little park over there. So we are coming to the end of the island. The island's small enough to bike it from one end to the other in about 20 minutes. Yeah, there's less people walking around. Now this looks like the expensive side of Gilly Tea. I reckon we've probably gone past this one for people. See all the cottages. They won't be cheap. But I'm still looking for the very end. Something tells me I should have got a bike. Because I've still got a long walk back. This is the eastern side of the island and this is Sunset Beach. Very pink. Give it about another hour because the sun is starting to set. This place will be busy for the people watching the sunset across this I'm gonna wait until tomorrow night to do it let's have a walk down here Yeah, I'm going to wait till tomorrow night to do this. What's the, the amazing sunset? Because even though everyone will be sitting around here, I can still see it from around the corner. First, I need to go back, grab a shower, make myself look beautiful for tonight. And I've not partied for a few weeks. So I deserve to let my hair down for one night only. One I've just decided to have a little sit down before I go back and just appreciate this view. And this is why I go travelling. Now that I've been down to the east side, time to head back towards the hostel. And what I'll do is, on the way back, I'll go through the, the back streets in the posh end, just to show you what it's like. So I've just come from the front end by the beach down there. And this is the back street of the posh area. And you can tell because it's a lot cleaner. No path, no road. This is where the majority of the hostels are. And there is a lot of building work going on. But, as I said, everything is on the front that you need as a tourist.
I'm now going to head back to the hostel, give you a quick show around of the place that I'm staying in and see what you think. I'm just heading up to the hostel now. And that's his name, Tipsy Turtle. And hi, how are you doing? I'm still you're still working. Oh yeah. You need a day off already. So the main reason I picked this hostel was for the fact that it said that in the reviews it's got the best Wi-Fi in Bali. It's cheap and every single room has only got three beds. Have a look at mine. One, two, and that's mine. Uh, go on. Perfect. So that was Gili Tea, Bali, Indonesia in a couple of hours of just me walking around on my very first day. But it said we'll be here for a couple more days so if you want to see more you need to subscribe and see what else I get up to including a bit of snorkeling if I can find some snorkeling here. Night time in Gili Tea will be done as well and if you like this video you better press that like button. But until next time. Bye-bye for now.